Hey guys, welcome to another video here on Food Chain TV. So you want to know the best way to cut a mango? Well, I'm going to show you. Now, I'm going to do this video for two reasons. Reason number one is I would like an excuse to eat a mango. And reason number two is so that next time you cut up a mango, you don't waste any of it, okay? There's lots of fancy mango cutting techniques online that look cool, but I'm sure that you want to cut a mango in a way that you waste almost none of it, okay? So here we go. All right, so when you look at a mango, here's the wide side, and this is kind of like the thin side. Maybe it's better if I pick it up, okay? So here we go. So the pit inside of the mango grows this way, okay? So we're going to cut it here, and we're going to cut it here, all right? And that's going to be our first cuts, okay? So when you dig into it, um, and I like to use a fillet knife just because I like the feel of it, but you can use pretty much any knife. All right, so what you want to do is try to get as close to that seed or that pit as you can, okay? So there we go. Just like that. So here we go. So I just barely shaved it. Okay, that's the, the seed or the pit, okay? And now we have this beautiful half. Look how nice these golden... I can't say enough good things about the mangoes that I grow in my yard. I'm very proud of them. These things taste like honey. They are unbelievable. You will never be able to get a mango like this at the store. You'd have to grow them yourself. Okay, so now we cut them into strips. And another thing I like about using a fillet knife is that it's, it's flexible. Okay, so what I like to do is put this down, and I'll show you another angle, okay? but I just go very close to the skin and just shave off a piece of this flesh. And here we go, first one down the hatch. Oh my God. Guys, like honey, this is so juicy and so good. If you live somewhere warm, you guys have to try growing mangoes. It is the most worthwhile fruit to grow. All right, so I'm gonna try to show you guys from a different angle so you can see how close the knife gets to the skin of the mango. So you go like this, and you just kind of go along the bottom. And I'm pressing down with my knife, and I'm angling it up just a little bit. Okay, just like that. So that when you separate them, you get the skin here, and you get the mango there. And if you have a little trimming to do, then, you know, it's okay just to do it like that. But you end up with a very thin piece of skin, no, no real amount of flesh on it. And you got your nice big mango chunk. So let's do that again. Okay. So start pressing down with your knife to kind of flatten it. And there you go. There's the chunk. There's the skin. If you really value your mango super much and you want to get every possible last piece of mango flesh off of that skin, you can go over it again and get like, you know, a super paper thin piece of mango because why not it tastes good right okay so now we have this half right now normally sometimes you might go and you start cutting that half but there's still mango right here okay so you make like an angled cut just like that and we can separate some mango meat from that here we go and now you look at the mango and you think, oh, well, okay, I can go get the other side. Well, no, because now you flip it over to this side and there's a little bit of mango flesh on this side. See, I want to get every last ounce of this mango meat, you know, this mango flesh, just like that. Okay, so now if you flip it up like that, you see, now we can get to the other half. Okay, just like that. Here we go. And here we have that pit or that seed. And again, there's mango on the side of it. And there's mango on the other side of it. Okay, just use your fillet knife. Okay, and once again, okay, you want to take your piece of mango here, press your knife down. This is a good skill to have for a lot of different things. Once you learn how to use a fillet knife properly and take advantage of its flexible nature, you'll be able to cut fruits, 
fish, a lot of really cool things using the same technique. Okay, there we go. And just like that. Here we go. Okay, so we have our nice pile. Look at this, all of this mango flesh. That is how you get all the meat off of a mango. But wait, there is more because look at that. And uh, there's still a little bit of meat on there. So this is like, you know, eating chicken wings. You know, you've met the two types of people, the people that can eat chicken wings where they just take one bite and then put the wing down. And then there's people like me who will eat every last little iota of meat off of a chicken wing. I do the same thing with mangoes. So I'm gonna eat all of this flesh off of the seed. Okay, and this is what you should be left with, okay? The pit with nothing but little fiber sticking out of it. And, uh, you know, if you have a good mango, chances are you have to take a shower right after you eat it because mangoes are pretty messy. Okay, but that's the hallmark of a good mango. So here we go. This is what's left over from our mango. And here is every last bit of mango that we can get off of it. So I hope you like this video and I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any mango related questions in the comment section below. And I hope that you guys will help me help you. I want to spend more time making videos for you. What you can do to help is subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. And the more subscriptions that I get, the more time that I can spend making videos like these just for you. So until next time, this is Christian saying, I hope that you have mango in your life.